Greetings, everyone, and welcome. I'm your host, Captain Rye. In today's video, I'm back once again playing in my favorite Tier 10 destroyer, the Yu Yang, here in World of Warships. Now, as the battle gets underway here, it's Warrior's Path, it's Domination Match Mode, and it's obviously a Tier 10 Maximum Battle. Fun tidbit of information for you, this was actually the very first battle I played back in World Warships after nearly a two-week hiatus. One week, just because I needed a week off from it, and another week because my PC had some problems. So, wasn't entirely sure how this battle was going to go on the onset because, well, it's been away for two weeks and there was a patch update and all sorts of things have changed, been added, or removed. If we look at the team's lineup here, as the battle begins, you'll notice that the enemy team has three destroyers. My team only has two destroyers. Now remember what I always say about teams with the destroyer advantage. The team that gets it, or starts off with it, usually has an advantage from the get-go. Additionally, I am in the Yu Yang, which means I cannot torpedo those enemy destroyers. Now, if we look at the map situation, my team has already started capturing C. We're well on our way there. As our friendly cruiser here, this Minotaur, pushes up into the A cap point, you'll notice that the A cap point is being captured. So that indicates that there's at least one of the three enemy destroyers that's there. But it's more troubling than just that one. There is a smoke screen and there are torpedoes, but look, there is a second smoke screen and more torpedoes. And I don't know if our Minotaur was just not paying attention to the map situation or if he had a particular death wish in this case, but he's pushed himself way, way too far forward here by himself, and it isn't just the two destroyers in that smoke screen. And there you can see both of those destroyers, the Gearing and the Omnivoy, but also the Neptune. There's a Moskva back there, there's a Hindenburg back there as well, and some battleships, including the Conqueror. And that Minotaur had no chance there between the Gearing and the Omnivoy doing a wonderful cross drop to finish him off. So, our Minotaur basically just suicided right at the beginning of the game by effectively not paying attention to his support and to his backup. If you'll notice, I didn't rush headfirst into the cap because I didn't see a lot of backup, and I'm not going to rush into a cap until I have that backup so that at the very least... If I am spotted, I can dump a smoke screen and very quickly no longer become the focus of attention. Now, my team has secured the C cap point. We're in the process of securing the B cap point. This is going to be good for us, but the enemy team does now have a points advantage because they've managed to kill one of our top tier cruisers, and they're going to start gaining points here with the A cap point. Our saving grace here, though, is that we're going to have two of the caps, so we're going to recover those points at a rate twice as fast. I get both sets of torpedoes out off into the distance there. Both of them are aimed at the Conqueror, who at the time looked like he was reversing. Unfortunately for me, the Conqueror has redirected his uh, propulsion, so he's heading forward now, no longer reversing, so those torpedoes are all going to miss. And I tried to cut the island a little bit there, and unfortunately run aground. Now, I'm kind of hovering off back here and not pushing elsewhere at this point, simply because I've got some friendly battleships back here, and really, what I'm trying to do is stay close to them, because I know there's that gearing, and I know there's that omnivoy. Now, the gearing and I have the same detection range, so if I spot him, he's going to spot me at the same time. The omnivoy, I'm pretty sure I can see well before he can see me. The idea here is to stay back by cruiser support, by battleship support, so that if I do spot either of those destroyers and I'm spotted in return, I can get torpedoes off, I can get shots out, and I can flag them, and hopefully the rest of my teammates will also shoot at them as well. Now, did spot the gearing as expected here. Unfortunately for me, the battleships have turned off and away, and the Zhao is currently maneuvering hard so that he's not the focus of that Conqueror. And as a result, the plan basically fell apart. But you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men do not survive the field of battle. Both sets of torpedoes up again, and this is kind of a bit of an advantage to 
to this ship in the respect that I wasn't tempted to try and torpedo the gearing. I wasn't tempted because these torpedoes will do nothing. There is the enemy Omnivoy who's popped up. It looks like he's headed towards the BCAP point and while I could probably take him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, not a fight I want to try and deal with right now because, well, again, you can see there's a Neptune back over there. The Conqueror is back over there and an enemy key also back over there. And there's the Hindenburg who's popped up yet again. Plus, there is somewhere around here a Moskova and other potential nasties. As well as the fact that we, of course, know there is that Gearing who's also back over there. The good news, though, my team has managed to kill one of their destroyers, so we are now equal on destroyer footing, and we have taken out one of their battleships, so we're now actually up on points. Combine that with our cap advantage, and now we've forced the enemy to be more aggressive if they want to get anything done. Managed to connect a torpedo on the Neptune there. Wasn't technically aiming him for him. Was actually trying to get the key. Connected a torpedo on the Hindenburg there. And a torpedo on the key. Not enough to kill any of them outright. Caused flooding on all of them. But of course, only one torpedo. They're going to hit that R key and stop the flooding. But this does put those ships in a bit of a disadvantage situation. Because now... If the Zao back over there manages to light some fires, or hell, even if our battleships manage to connect with them, they're really, really going to be in a world of hurt, having taken torpedo damage, which isn't repairable, not recoverable with your heal. So they're going to take even more damage from those ships, and they're going to be lower health from the get-go. Managed to take out yet another ship. That smokescreen out there, not sure if that was laid by the Neptune or if the gearing has come back over there to support, but regardless of whose smokescreen it is, I do know that there's at the very least two cruisers back over there and a battleship, so I get torpedoes out there. The key, unfortunately, gets taken out by the Zhao, so not able to connect with him and secure a kill there, but at the very least, that key is dead, and now the enemy team is down two battleships, a cruiser, and a destroyer. But we do know that at least one of their destroyers is in the process of capping B. This is very important for them to do at this point. They have to secure that cap point if they want to stay in this game. In addition to getting some kills at this point, because they're really down on points. Almost 500 points behind here. And even if they did manage to equal out the number of ships killed, they would still be behind on points because my team has had both of those caps. Now I'm Creeping up around here, around the headland of the silence, seeing what I can spot. There's the enemy gearing. I kind of expected him to be back over there. It doesn't look like I'm going to connect torpedoes on that Hindenburg as he is running away. But the good news here is I managed to get my smoke screen off. And because the gearing opened fire there, he had a direct line of sight to one of the friendly ships back there. And so friendly ships were spotting him briefly. Now, he does drop off detection there. A little bit disappointed that the other friendly ships didn't push forward. I back up behind this island here because Gearing does have torpedoes that can hit me. So I definitely didn't want to be out in the open on the other side of that island in that situation. Back up, get myself going, and instead I think I'm just going to go ahead and head off to the B cap point and try and recapture it from the enemy, who has at this point now managed to pull the game back just a little bit, pulled the scores a little bit closer by taking out a couple more cruisers. Now the cruisers, not as valuable as the battleships, but definitely valuable for hunting destroyers. So I'm going to head back to the B-cap point and at the very least prevent the enemy team from continuing to gain those points so we can sit on our nice fat lead and hopefully just secure an easy victory no matter what happens. But there's the enemy Conqueror. And the Conqueror, a very, very dangerous battleship if you're in a destroyer to try and deal with for the simplest reason that he's probably already got high explosive loaded and those 16 inch high explosives or the 18 inch high explosives will absolutely one shot nearly any destroyer they come in contact with. It's ridiculous how much damage you can take when a conqueror spots you. So I do need to be careful here that I don't get myself spotted and have that conqueror be pointing his guns my direction. Now I push up here, I'm capping the location. I'm gonna try and see if I can get around the side of this island and maybe give that Conqueror a little what for with a nice full face load of torpedoes. And that's when I spot that Ondevoy. Now the Ondevoy 
does get close enough, he spots me. Fortunately, very quick reset on the smoke generator for the Yu Yang, so I'm able to get my smoke screen up. Did get shots off on that Envoy before he got his guns pointed back at me, but again, remember, it's an Envoy here, so it does, again, have torpedoes that could potentially cause me problems. My torpedoes can't hurt him, but his can definitely hurt mine, so I'm backing up here. And I'm going to try and reposition myself. Now, I know that destroyer is back over there. And I know because I was spotted, if those battleships are playing well and paying attention, they won't be surprised by me coming around that island. Instead, the team is pushing up at the A cap point. But they're having a hard time of it. They keep getting reset. And if we look at the minimap, we can see where the gearing was last spotted. Additionally, that Conqueror keeps dropping off and on detectability here. And I'm trying to figure out where he's going. Now, a little bit of a replay bug here. I'm actually targeting the Conqueror. There's the gearing has popped up there. And as I exit my smoke screen, I am spotted by him because he's close enough to me. So I get my torpedoes off kind of a bit on a prediction line where I think the Conqueror is going. And I start getting my guns and shots out onto this gearing. Now, the gearing saw me and technically had as much time to get his guns pointed in my direction as I did. But you'll notice he had less health than I did. And my accuracy was significantly better. Now, I finish him off and was undetected, but I'm detected now because 20 seconds. And there's the Conqueror who's come out from behind that island. And it looks like my torpedo prediction was absolutely on the mark as I hit five from both of my spreads and finish him off in a devastating strike there. Fortunately for me, he came around that island and was actually already aiming at somebody else. So he didn't even bother to try and shoot me. He actually shot his shots off somewhere else, and that's the end of him, and I still have a significant amount of health left. More importantly, I can now go and engage that Envoy. If I can find him, if I can spot him, can go and engage him in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight without any issues. Smokescreen back up yet again, and there's the Envoy. He's very, very low health compared to me. I've definitely got the health advantage. I've got the rate of fire advantage. I have the gun advantage, I just don't have the torpedo advantage. Now, he's trying to smoke up here. This is going to be a problem for him because there's nothing right now that can detect me on his team. But that's going to change here in a second as his friendly Neptune comes around that island and he's going to spot me. But look, I've closed the range, I'm close enough to him. Can I get the kill on him before we cap out? No, not able to secure my third kill of the game, but I still did 119,000 damage in that game. One base capture, two kills, both of them absolutely beautiful with that Conqueror coming around the island exactly where I had expected him to. Almost gave him a little too much lead, but did finish him off there. Top of the team for XP earned at 2,182 base XP, but look at this, our Benson, the tier 8, came in second on the team for XP earned at 2,146 base XP, with the top four people on the team being above 1,800 base XP. A very, very good game for my team, not so much for the enemy team, though. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to get some regular channel news and updates, you can do so by following me on Facebook. If you'd like to help support me and the channel, you can do so by becoming my supporter on Patreon. If you've got a replay like this one that you'd like to see featured on my channel or just like me to see in general, you can send it to my email. And if you'd like to watch me play various games live, you can do so by following me on Twitch. You can find the links for all of those in the video description down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Captain Rye, signing off.